Roland Sands. Roland Sandals. Roland. 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 Roland Sands. Roland Sands. Roland Sands. Yeah, Roland. Yeah, I think Roland might be on to something. Yeah, you know this new shop that Roland's got uh, here in Long Beach. I don't think it's what it really appears. I mean, it's fancy. You know, you go in, there's bikes, there's apparel. But has anybody really been in the back? Motorcycles, they don't stand up on their own. You ever stopped and actually thought about it? I have all the time, especially when they come back looking like this. A lot of questions spinning around, you know? Centrifugal force, it's kind of like gravity. You know, it's like a, it's a theory. The theory of relativity, I mean, if it was a fact, it'd be the fact of relativity, but it's not, it's a theory. Kind of the same as gravity. Gravity, centrifugal force, kind of in the same boat. A lot of questions. A lot of questions. Gravity's real. If gravity wasn't real, we would be doing this interview floating. I'm sitting, you're sitting in a chair, I'm sitting in a chair, we're here still. Yeah, the f***ing centrifugal force thing. I'd be like, Roland, you need to have some machines with knobs on them again. Like, bring it back to where it started. I cannot with the conspiracy theories. My guys downstairs, they are all about it. They, they, will, they will go down the rabbit hole, but I am not one of those. I could go on with the, with the topical level of, of his conspiracy theories, but Roland knows I have a three to four minute window of a conspiracy theory discussion. He explores a lot of odd concepts and uh, I think it's good for him to do that. He, he does a lot of reading, whether it's ancient civilization or architecture and how things were built because I, I think you can probably learn a lot from what's been done in the past. Yeah, I mean, what came first, you know? The human or the motorcycle? It's hard to say. How long have these things actually been around? Indian Motorcycles is a 100-year-old company, and they've been making magic out of two wheels for that long. We base all our trust on what we felt our entire lives and in the background, our processes, ones and zeros, that we don't even understand. We're just the front end of the interface. We're the, we're the screen. But what's in reality is what's behind the screen, the ones and the zeros. If you even believe that ones and zeros control computers. Have you ever been inside of a computer? I haven't. Have you ever seen the inside of a motor? I guess I have seen that, but. Ones and zeros, man, it's all ones and zeros. Or maybe not. Well, he believes in conspiracies, authentically. How can he say that and, and do 12 o'clock wheelies? Gravity's fake. Nah, I mean, I, I'd like to probably argue with him on that because I've, I've experienced gravity a lot of times and it's never worked out well for me. But it might be the centrifugal force that it's messing me up, I'm not sure. You know, he's quite smart, but probably hit his head a few times, so I'm sure the frequencies might be getting some resonation there, but I don't know what it is, I mean, he's, he's definitely an out of the box thinker. He's a creative guy. I mean, I've almost been convinced by his wayward thinking, but I think potentially it's just a Southern California has spent too much time in the sun and bumped his head a few too many times. That's what always strikes me because he has quite a few strange theories on life. And I think that I've just come to terms with that being part of his character. And it's almost like listening to a kind of fictional podcast when you hang out with him, because it's like, whatever, dude, you can say whatever you like. I still love you, but it won't be long until he starts bringing out Roland Sands like tinfoil helmets. So I'm looking forward to that day. Well, it's always uh, entertaining. See what he's uh, been doing, what he's coming up with next. I don't care about his centrifugal force. <laughs> all I give a f about is him building my motorcycle. He's first of all, he's not he's not easy to lay an idea on, you know, because he's has so much experience, and he's got very good taste. He's got great ideas about things outside of making motorcycles. I mean, when you walk in the joint, you can see everything's got his touch to it, you know? But that's what I like about him making a bike. I can't even walk in here unless I just did like a, a movie that I got paid real f***ing good for because I got to have cash falling out of my, all four of my pockets, you know? And go, here, just make the bike, <laughs> you know? Ain't nothing cheap with Roland Sands, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, he's just f***ing with everybody now. He's, he's just f***ing with us. Uh, who is it? What is it? Ro Roland Sands. He's, uh, 
the motorcycle guy. Roman Sandals. Not Roman Sandals. Roland Sands. You know the bikes? You know when chicks do they wear it that it looks cool when it's like it's a sandal but the that the way the leather goes all the way up to the shin. Yeah, no, that's the, yeah, you know? that's the Roman Sandals. But, I, but I'm saying like those look bitchin'. They do look know? good. They do look good. But also, okay, so. But so not, okay, so, so Roman, or, uh, Roland Sandals. Is there a mustache in Mexico? Who really believes in that? I'm, he's putting everybody on. He's just got his finger on the whole pole steel all the time. And I mean, and he's worked in so many different influences, whether it's a street track or whether it's the, that bagger that he did that I always loved. I give him credit, you know, I've been a fan of his for, uh, for, for a long time. Roland is an amazing bike builder. He actually blew my mind when he built my first bike because all we did was like, all right, what color do you want it? And this is what we're gonna do. And I just gave him the bike and he did it and he blew my mind. So now we're working on a second bike and I can't wait. He gets a visual of something, he kind of like, you know, grabs onto it and then he has the forethought and the vision to kind of follow through with it and to, and to see things through fruition. Road racing with super hooligan bikes. I mean, that's something, or even, you know, baggers on the racetrack, right? That's something that he talked about for years. You know, we're now we're a part of the King or Baggers, you know, flat track racing and on the super hooligan, you know, it was years and years ago, he's like, dude, I think we should do this with road racing. And we're just, it's a flat track series, right? It's dirt, it's sometimes asphalt. Sure enough, you know, we're in our second or third year now of road racing super hooligan bikes. I really admire what he's doing. You know, I'm, I'm from a different world. I have a different focus in a different direction, but to have a friend like him um, be able to bring opportunities for me and be able to have great, share great times together with all the, his crew that he has, it's been um, a real highlight for uh, my life. Roland's never really racing with us, uh, but you know, he's kind of just, for us, just putting an opportunity there for us. Um, so it's cool to just go out and, and represent someone that I, I respect a lot. You know, Roland's a good good guy. He, he tells me he's fast at racing, but I've never really witnessed it. <laughs> That's the one thing, man. Like, he's, he's really good at what he does, but he's also still really fast. And like, amongst my friends, I've always been fast, but like, I don't want to go on a track with him while the cameras are rolling. Yeah, I mean, the deeper I go down the rabbit hole, the more involved it gets. I don't think I'm ever gonna be done researching this. Ever since I was a kid, I always wondered in my head, how do motorcycles stay up, you know? And the obvious answer was centrifugal force. And as I got into like, you know, figuring out engineering and all the techniques behind designing motorcycles and things like that, I thought the answer would become clear, but it's only become more convoluted. And I've just become intensely focused on figuring this out. And it seems the only way to really figure it out is to ride a motorcycle. I'm Joshua Hami. Okay, and? You know exactly who I am. Okay. 